sunrise, new day's dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee, we've got good lands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no Ask a friend, but don't delay. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Good Saturday morning. Welcome to another edition of the award winning Outdoors. Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, boy, we've already breezed through an hour on this Saturday, March the 26th, uh, Easter weekend. Uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful Easter Sunday. Uh, I will be out there at sunrise service at my church. Looking forward to it. Uh, got some good weather this weekend after all the wind has blown through this past week. But, uh, hey, uh, we're kind of switching gears. This fourth Saturday, we have um, a Frank Barton in here. Kind of switched him out from the turkey show last week to Frank Barton from the Barton Power Sports in West Memphis and Jonesboro. And, of course, Ron Wong is also in with us because it is fourth Saturday. And, I know a lot of you guys in the studio here uh, have been to Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, and uh, it's become my, like my second home. I think my son would live down there. If yes, he, didn't he have, would. Yeah, he, he, was, didn't, he just got back. Yeah, he just got back, and uh, we go down there a lot because it's one of our favorite places. And it's also the place that I won my very first outdoor award, and uh, it turned out to be a big one because it not only won – the Southeastern Outdoor Press Association's Photograph of the Year, but it won the Outdoor Writers of America uh, Photograph uh, of the Year. And uh, I got presented those awards at the old State Park Lodge right there on the ocean, right at the Gulf of Mexico. And then, of course, we know that what happened uh, in 2004 is Hurricane Ivan blew through there. And the lodge has not been back since then. But uh, we're privileged to have on with us uh, this morning who can kind of tell us about a project that's going on that's related to uh, the state parks in Alabama and also uh, something a little bit about the horizon oil spill. And that's uh, Cooper Shattuck. He is the general counsel for the University of Alabama system. And also, Cooper's kind of like, uh, I assume, Cooper, that you're the spokesman for the Gulf State Park Enhancement Project, right? That's right. Uh, yeah, I serve as the project's executive director, and I think part of my duties include uh, the opportunity to speak to folks like you, Larry. Well, tell us a little about it. Uh, I know we have about 10 minutes. I wish we had like 30 because uh, Cooper's a busy man and all the jobs that he does with the uh, University of Alabama, with the uh, the governor and all these different kind of things. I don't know how you got this job. I don't know if you volunteered or they drew your name out of a straw, but uh, <laughs> it's you're busy enough as it is, but it's got to be close to your heart. So tell our listeners exactly what is this project. It, it is, Larry. And the way I got involved is early on uh, in the response to the oil spill, we began uh, various negotiations with BP uh, because BP was interested in restoring uh, the damage done by the oil spill and the mm -hmm. response efforts and returning people to the Gulf. So I was involved in negotiating to secure the funds for this project. And this project includes five key elements. One is rebuilding the lodge and conference center there at Gulf State Park, but it also includes a number of other enhancements uh, to the park, which, which encompasses over 6,000 acres right there on the beach. Wow. It includes dune restoration uh, to create a living dune environment that will protect our investment there and also create a habitat for all the species. 
It involves an interpretive center that will also be there on the beach just down from the lodge that will allow people to have an interactive experience and learn more about the ecosystems that are unique to that area. It's also going to have a learning campus that will not be on the beach but further inland uh, that will provide K-12 through students and even older students an opportunity to come down and have a dorm space, lab space, uh, and instructional space where they can get sort of hands-on with our natural resources there um, and, in, and also include some restoration and enhancement to the trails um, and to our uh, number of freshwater lakes that we have on the, on the, uh, the park there. There's, there's over 900 acres of uh, freshwater lakes that provide lots of uh, fishing opportunities, bird watching, canoeing, you name it. Uh, we want people to be able to enjoy those natural resources. And then we're talking uh, about uh, 600,000 visitors each That's year. Right. Uh, That's right. So, uh, and and the lodge, there's so many memories. I, I loved, I, I, I watched the, the, the YouTube video and uh, looked back at the where the lodge looked, and it brought back so many memories for me and my family. And and to think about this, this is no easy project. This is $135 million, Is that right? Yes, sir. I mean, uh, and, and, and $85.5 million allocation of early restoration dollars from BP to compensate for the loss of revenue to the park during the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, which uh, that was 2010, right? That's uh, right. You know, the interesting thing, Larry, a lot of people don't understand is the site where we're going to be reconstructing the lodge, it'll have 350 rooms, it'll have conference space to handle over a 1,000 uh, meeting attendees. We're actually going to do that on a smaller footprint uh-huh. than the old lodge. And that area of the beach is where the crews that cleaned up after the oil spill staged all their work. Wow. So there were, was heavy equipment and people and trucks and tractors that staged all their work along the Alabama Gulf Coast right there where we're going to build the lodge. So this... This is a great opportunity to see that area restored to uh, a place where people can enjoy what we have there on the beach. And Cooper, I know this is uh, this is the ideal spot because it's still vacant, and so <laughs> so you've got room to do this. And at the same time, there's no tax dollars for the public, right? I mean, that's right. There will be no tax dollars spent. BP is uh, funding 100 percent of the cost. Uh, of this entire project, and it was a project uh, funded in part through a partnership with federal agencies and trustees who were responding and restoring uh, the damage done to the oil spill, but also separately, BP made an agreement with the state to fund the balance needed uh, to complete this project, and we're excited about that. And I know there's other there's there's a domino effect here because, as you said, the dunes. Uh, you're not bringing in any more sand. This is uh, right. this is going to be the sand that's there, right? That's right. Uh, we're just rearranging it. Yeah. What we have now is a berm. Uh-huh. It's not really yeah. a natural yeah. dune. And people uh, and people have trouble finding a place to get in. This is going to be a an area. If once you take care of the congestion, it's going to be there. Uh, it's going to be an open air area that that the, the public can get to. That's right. That's exactly right. Um, Another thing I wanted to mention is uh, we're excited about our partnership with Hilton Worldwide. Uh, Yeah, Um, We just uh, a couple of weeks ago received from Hilton approval of our application uh, to be a franchisee of uh, the Hilton brand, which is so very strong. And what we're really excited about, and Hilton is as well, is they have something called a Light Stay Mm -hmm. initiative where they give – hotel owners and operators, uh, the benefit of uh, data management so that they can track energy usage, water usage, carbon footprint, you name it, so that they can operate these facilities more efficiently, uh, which helps our environment and also helps the environmental sustainability of the hotel. Because so many times when um, state governments and local governments secure funds to do something positive like this, they don't also secure the funds that enable it to 
continue in mm-hmm. the state that it is when it's constructed. But this is going to generate revenue that will support not only the lodge and not only this park, but also the other parks within uh, the Alabama state park system. But operating more efficiently, not only is that friendly to the environment, but it's friendly to the taxpayers' pocketbooks when it comes to operating these facilities. Well, folks, I hope that you go to the uh, – there's so many uh, things you can Google here, and, I, and, and they've got a great video on YouTube that I watched, uh, uh, including uh, – it kind of brought back great memories with Hugh Brannon, uh, seeing mm-hmm. Hugh uh, in that video uh, – what a great man! I mean, uh, yeah, that park would not be what it was without uh, without Hugh, who right, um, an incredible legacy. That that website is www.gsp Gulf State Park gsp.ua.edu. That's it, and we're going to post all this on uh, my website lroutdoors.com. Again, we're talking to to Cooper Shattuck. He is the general counsel for the University of Alabama System, but also. Uh, the spokesman for this uh, initiative that we've got for the park's rest, uh, restoration uh, project, and and he mentioned Hilton in there, and I, I know the the Hilton brand is automatic. Uh, you know, did they come to you? Did they did they did they seek you out? Is how did that work? Because well, it was interesting, Larry. We reached out to all the major uh, brands, mm-hmm. all the major hotel chains, and uh, immediately. Str- resonated with Hilton. Yeah, uh, There were a number who were interested, and obviously a number that we were interested in, but this Light Stay initiative with Hilton struck Wonderful. a chord with us and with them, because uh, we really want this to be a showcase for the state. Uh, and Hilton wants it to be a showcase for their other hotels, because it's unique. It's very unique, not just with its location, but the way it's being constructed and uh, why it's being constructed that way. And uh, the whole history of the yes. park and yeah. the spill being used in a positive way. So uh, it's going to be a great partnership with them, and we're uh, we're really excited about it, and, and I think they are too. And I know that you're looking maybe to start booking in 2017 or maybe the 2018. 2018. 2018. Yeah, we'll be booking in 2017 for and opening, and opening uh, in, and, uh, occupancy in 2018. We've... We've started construction in the last few weeks on the foundation. Good. So uh, the last time this beach saw tractors and heavy equipment, it was cleaning up the oil, which wasn't necessarily a very positive experience. This no. time, it's in building the foundations for this lodge and restoring the dunes. Well, I can't wait to see it. And uh, I know a lot of folks, uh, they used to call a little town east of the of uh, Gulf Shores a uh, little Memphis, but I'm thinking a lot of folks <laughs> now are uh, are becoming Gulf Shores and Orange Beach people too uh, to get yeah. down there. Cooper, thank you for being on Outdoors with Larry Ray, and uh, we'll stay in touch. Anything we could do up here to publicize this, just let us know. And uh, appreciate your time, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, Larry. Thank you, Cooper. All right, let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray, and uh, we're going to go out to Wyoming. I love Wyoming. You like Wyoming? Pretty good place. It's pretty got good. Got great places to ride bikes. Uh, it's got great places just to stand and watch. You know, I like Wyoming basically in the summertime. Beautiful, and, beautiful yeah. area. All right. We'll be right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray. We may let uh, Guy Trebo, he may want to ask a question this next guest. Take a break here. can find out all about it all. Outdoors with Larry. 